Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to introduce you to Pioneer's new AVH X3700 VHS. Boy, look at that. Numbers, letters. Anyways, Boy, stay that. tuned. Okay, so let's open this thing up and see what she's got inside, shall we? You ready? That's a surprise. Yeah, it's so surprising. Uh, okay, so we have one USB cable. Okay. Cable del USB. We have the power plug. And the power plug. The remote control. Control remote, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bluetooth microphone. Pink bag. Uh, bag of screws. Uh, warranty card and owner's manual. Hot Garantia y el manual. Yeah. Stuff this stuff okay. in there. Uh, okay, so now that we've got this thing open, let's turn it around and show everyone the back. Okay. <gasps> Baby got back. Anyways. I hate that song. Um, so let's take a look at the back, shall we? Okay. Right, let's turn on our handy dandy uh, lightsaber pointers. Just press the button. There you go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Stuffed. Okay, so let's start over here. We have six channel, four volt preamp output, which is a sub, rear, and front. Okay, so tenemos seis salidas de RCA de cuatro voltios, que yeah. es el, I'm sorry, oh, I'm que sorry. es el frente, rear, y el subwoofer. Over here we have the rear view camera uh, input. Uh, la entrada de la cámara. We have the AV uh, input, which is video and then audio here. Okay, so tenemos la entrada de video y el audio. We have a video output right here. This is for headrests or an overhead. So tenemos exactamente la salida de video. This yellow guy up here is Pioneer's plug if you want to add an outboard navigation system to it, which is the AVIC U260. It'll plug right into here and turn your unit into navigation. So, este es para añadir la navegación. Por supuesto, utiliza el AVIC U260. Okay, so over here we have the Bluetooth microphone goes into this little guy right here. Ok, esta parte de aquí tenemos para la entrada del micrófono. We have this guy right here is for the steering wheel control input. La entrada para las funciones del volante. This is for the Maestro I data link piece, which can, uh, this unit can use if you do the software update to it. However, if you're watching this late in the year, it's already done, so don't worry about it. Ok, so este es para, la, para utilizar las funciones del Maestro Link, que obviamente necesitas un... Un, este, un upgrade, pero ya está listo, así que... Yeah. Uh, this is the Sirius XM port right here. Este es la entrada del Sirius XM. Power plug, antenna adapter. La entrada del power y la antena. And then this guy right here is your auxiliary input. Y esta es la entrada del auxiliar. Okay, so if you're curious as to what makes this guy different from last year's radios as far as the back goes, we did a, uh, one of these videos on a 4700 mm -hmm. where we showed you side-by-side -side comparison of last year's model and this year's model. So if you'd like to see what the old one looked like compared to the new one to see if it's, you know, different, you know, like you're on the fence because there's a deal on the old one and you don't know if you should get the new one, you should get the new one, uh, check it out. Uh, now we're going to spin this sucker around and power it up and let you see what she does. You're a monkey. So this unit will do four different languages, uh, which we did a video on and should hopefully be up by the time you see this one if you're interested in what that looks like. Uh, so let's move on. We're going to do English. Don't be disappointed. disappointed. Uh, when you first power this up, you want to set it up for what type of phone you're going to use, either the iPod or the Android is other, and whether you want to do a USB or a Bluetooth connection. All right, go forward. All right, so once you've done that, you go to the basic home screen. Now, this unit this year is a little bit bigger than last year. It's a 6.2 inch instead of a 6.1 inch. Oh, wow. I know. Do you want to tell everyone? Okay. So, in realidad, este, el año pasado fue 6.1 pulgadas, y ahora lo hicieron más grande a 6.2. You know, and you just complain that I never give you enough time. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, it has a 800 by 480 uh, 
LED backlit WVGA screen. Okay. So este tiene una una pantalla de um, de 6.2 pulgadas, obviamente. Uh, pantalla táctil <laughs> de 800 por 400. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want hot sauce? Um, <laughs> all right. So another new thing this year is it's got 13 uh, new backgrounds. Which I don't really see 13, but anyways, it's got new backgrounds. Okay. Uh, it's got five different colors and 112 different variations for the key colors. While you start talking about it, I'm gonna demo that. Okay, so este tiene 13 nuevos fondos de pantalla con cinco diferentes colores para obviamente para el para el screen. Y este vamos a checarlos. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa. All right. So let's go back to the water. And we'll click illumination. And this is this guy right here is the variable. And this guy over here is scan. And then we'll check themes. So down here you have blue, you have red, you have an orange, you have a green, and you have a gray. In this case we haven't done we haven't done gray yet. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave it on gray. And then we'll X out of there. Okay, so that's what the basic unit looks like. Okay. Now couple other things obviously this is a CD DVD player how exciting is that now it has Bluetooth uh -huh. okay and this particular one uses Pioneer's new Bluetooth and what's new about it is it uses what's called a new wideband speech recognition okay and what that is is it, 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 when you're making a phone call it sounds better at the end of the day uh, they compare it to using AM as opposed to FM as far as sound quality goes. Our customers have already told us that it does sound better than ones that have had the older units compared to the newer units. So it does have a better sound as far as when you're talking to people. You don't sound like you're in a tin can. Also, okay. that gave us the ability to get better streaming Bluetooth. I'll go ahead and tell everyone about that. Okay, so obviamente este es CD y DVD. Y este año, ahora sí que Pioneer ha sacado un nuevo Bluetooth que es una nueva, una banda mucho más grande para hacer tipo de llamadas, se escucha mucho mejor y trabaja mucho mejor en el sistema de audio inalámbrico. Mucho mejor? Hey, look at that, it's connected. Okay, so, and also, in, in doing that, this year Pioneer, if I hadn't mentioned it, which I don't think I had, Pioneer changed the whole operating system in this. They went to their new NEX software, which is what all the navigation systems had in 2014. Now all the radios have it, and they have all the cool features. One of them is a whole new menu for the Bluetooth. In the past, the Bluetooth was just a little tiny square over here. Now, if you go to Bluetooth, it's the full screen. It allows you to search just by scrolling up and down right here. It allows you to look at your ingoing, outgoing calls, uh, and it allows you to switch. So uh, missed calls, received calls, outgoing calls, uh, and then this guy right here will launch Siri Eyes Free for you, uh, so that you can do uh, messaging as well as ask her anything you want. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Okay, so obviamente el el radio. Um, este tiene la banda mucho más grande para las llamadas y te ayuda, te ayuda a hacer ahora sí que todo el tipo de funciones de tu teléfono. You know, it's right in front of you, read it. It's just, it's just yeah, really almost like this. I know, you're just like, oh, oh, okay. Um, another new feature this year, uh, along with all the cool Bluetooth thing, is Pioneer just introduced a App Radio 1 add-on. It's a software update that you have to do. It's the same software update that allows you to use the iDatalink Maestro piece. Uh, basically, it's a one cable solution to add App Radio, or shall I just say App Radio Live, which is at the point when we film this, the only app that really works. Uh, we'll have a video on that and how that works, so stay tuned for that. Um, go ahead. Okay. So, este año Pioneer hizo lo del App Radio One, que en realidad te ayuda del, del año pasado, que eran varios cables, ahora nada más utilizas un solo cable. Necesitas un update, por supuesto, pero. Te vamos a enseñar en otro video. Now, for the cool part on the radio, there's two cool things that separate the 30... Well, there's one cool thing that separates the 3700 from everyone else, and uh, other than the 5700. <laughs> uh, and that is the HD radio. This one has HD radio. 
Sure. Basically, if you don't know what HD radio is, HD radio improves your sound quality for FM as well as makes AM sound like FM. It also, if the station is broadcasting simulcast, meaning there's two stations on one station, it allows you to receive both of those. So you, essentially, you can double the amount of FM stations you have, which in my book is double the amount of suck. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, so... Obviamente, la diferencia entre del 3700 a los demás es que en realidad este tiene uh, radio HD. Obviamente también el 5700 lo tiene. Um, este lo que te hace es de que te, te da la accesibilidad de tener dos tipos de estaciones en una sola. Hot damn. Okay, so now what really made it switching over to the NEX system so cool is it gave it the NEX sound. We said earlier it has six channel four volt preamp output, which uh -huh. is new for the six inch. Last year they didn't have that, only had a two volt. So that's pretty hot. But where the real hotness comes in, ooh baby, is in the EQ pack, okay? This thing has a 13 band EQ, time alignment, high pass, low pass crossover, um, network mode or regular mode, uh -huh. uh, which you can, uh, we have a video on if you want to find out what network mode is. Um, it has the audio EQ and time alignment feature, uh, which allows it to automatically you plug, plug a microphone into it that you can get from Pioneer that does not come with it. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, to auto EQ and do all this stuff for you. Now, while he's talking, I'm going to demo it. Okay, so, por supuesto, este tiene las 13, ban 13 bandas de ecualizador con el tiempo de alineación, el paso alto y el bajo, uh, el crossover el modo de network y el regular, así que tiene el, el ecualizador automático con el tiempo de eliminación. Y si en realidad quisieras, a uh, Pioneer tiene un micrófono que tú puedes conectar para que se escuche un poquito mejor y hacer lo del, lo del ecualizador. ¿Estás listo? Sí. Ok, este es el speaker level de Just, que es algo nuevo. Así que no solo tienes el subwoofer volume control, you have speaker or volume control for each speaker in the car, which is really sweet. Um, if you come down here, you have the crossover. Uh, you can turn off, it has independent front, rear, and sub crossover that you can turn off individually. So you don't have, like, if for some reason you don't need one, you can just turn off that one. It has a 12, 18, or 24 dB per octave slope. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a whole video on just this, so we'll move on. Um, all right. Listening position has to do with time alignment, so you can tell it where you're sitting in the car. You can also go in and adjust, make a custom time alignment. Um, so now you can adjust every speaker. every speaker in the cars from where you're sitting. And then, of course, if you come all the way down here, it has the bass boost. Don't ever turn that on. No. And it has loudness control, three-step loudness control. It also has save settings. Uh, if you're interested in what save setting is, we did a really good video on it. You're going to want to watch it because it is the coolest feature in the world. Uh, it allows you to save all the features in the radio so when you disconnect the battery or it accidentally goes dead, all you have to do is go into that and it automatically calls them back. So you don't have yeah. to come back and see us or your local store and say, I don't know what happened. It sounds like... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, with that being said, we've pretty much covered everything. Yeah. Hot damn, people. Hot damn. All right, so that brings the show to an end today. We hope you liked our unboxing. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to add them into the comments and we'll get yeah. back to you. We do this twice a week. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, you remember? Hot damn. Yeah, be so proud. You get a Twinkie later. <laughs> uh, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're everywhere. We're here. And we're here six days a week. All right, thanks, guys. You have a nice night. Night? Day. Afternoon, whatever turns you on. Whatever you guys are watching. See ya!